Praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. Well, this is Friday. This is the date a lot of people have been waiting on to get their check. This is warning Friday. Get their check. Do right with your money. Do not go to the dope house before you pay your bills. Do not go to the hairware store before you pay your car payment. Come on, somebody. Pay that gas bill. Black people, it is time for us to get on point. I am tired of winning in poverty. We winning in poverty as black people. Come on. We winning in divorce rates. We're up in divorce, black man marrying black woman. Come on. Come on. We up in crime, black on black crime. Come on. We have, we're up in, and, and husbands don't take care of their children. Men, black men don't take care of their children. We up in that. You know what? I'm tired of being last. Come on. I mean, I'm tired of being first in that stuff. Come on. I would love to be last at that. Let somebody else have that higher percentage, if that make any sense. As black people, we got to get together. We got to start loving on each other. And I see it all through the street. We got a, a mean spirit on us. Black people will not speak to black people. I'm telling you, you go, you, it's hard for a black person to speak to, to each other. What is wrong with us? But I can tell we don't have enough power in these buildings to, to cast these, uh, these curses away from people. And them curses lean on. And this curse, I do believe, go all the way back to when Pharaoh was telling the midwife. He went to, these women was black that he went to. Uh, uh, Pofa and, and Jephthah. They was black women back then. I probably didn't announce it right. Who cares? Read it for yourself. You know, you could put in Vera and Samantha. Come on, Mercedes and Shatika. I don't care who you put in there, but I know these was black women back biblical days in, in, in uh, Exodus chapter 1, verse 15. Let me slow down, man. I get a little excited. Drink a little water this morning before you go to work. So you don't have an attitude at work this morning. Chase it down with a little coffee. Mmm. And Exodus chapter 1, verses 15 to 22, I'm not going to read all of it. Let me just read verse 15. It said, Then the king of Egypt told the midwives, whose name was Shepha and Palsy, When you help the Hebrew woman, help the Hebrew woman in childbirth, look at the child when you deliver it, and if it is a boy, kill it. Kill it. But if it is a girl, let it live. So it can be used the way they want to use them. Come on. That was back biblical days. That's when Pharaoh told the midwife. Them women was black. Come on. Search it out for yourself. Come on. I'm tired of being in front of, of crime as a black man. Come on. I'm tired of being... The highest percentage in divorce. Come on. I'm tired of being the, the, the one higher percentage of poverty. Divorce. If I didn't say that already. Come on. I'm tired of white folks coming to me and saying, what is going on? What's going on with the blacks? I'm just ignorant. The Bible talks about that. We are an ignorant generation right now. Come on. We want to bling bling. We want to flash and don't like you. They're ready to kill each other in a drop of a hat on this warning Friday. I'm going to break it to you real because we got to do better. We have got to do better than we're doing. I don't know what it's going to take. It's going to take a lot of prayer and, and these churches, you got to be real in these churches. God ain't going to lose nothing if the church, the body of Christ, the people, Come on, get where they don't have no clicks and clacks inside the building. I'm talking to so many people each day that saying they don't want to do them churches. They don't want to do the building no more. Too many clicks, too many big hats, too many people want to be seen. And none of that works in there in the spirit of God. It does not work, people. Come on, you have to be humble with this wall. You got to love on people. Trustworthy and loyal and helpful, friendly and courteous and kind and obedient and cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean and reverent people. Come on. 
It was black sisters that Pharaoh gave that order to. You know, we, we can have some babies now. Come on. Come on. We was growing. That's why Pharaoh got scared. Same way with now. When you do anything, if they see a bunch of black folks standing in the crowd, they figure, well, you have to figure to play the odd. If it's a bunch of us, especially if it's over 100, something going to jump off. Uh, you get to drinking that liquor and smoking that authentic and all that skunk weed and loud and all of that and add fitting all to it. We got some crazy stuff going on now. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. We got people coming out of town, setting up dope houses in our city. We didn't have that going on. We ran people out of this town. This is our town. You don't open the gate to this city and let anything happen here, people. Come on. Back in the day, we, we didn't do that. Don't drill, you don't be no drug dealer and come from anywhere. Chicago, Elkhart, Gary, wherever you're coming from. There's so many people from Chicago here now. They setting up camp, making our city look crazy. We got to take this city back, people, if that make any sense. Come on, that curse have not been broke because we don't have enough Christians that's really real enough. Come on. Pharaoh was talking to two black, well, search it out. He was talking to two black sisters, he told that. Kill a, your baby. Come on. They didn't do it. They, they hid from doing it. But that had to be scary. You have a little baby boy and you got you to gotta hide him. Come on. You can't even move around that fast after you have a baby. So it, it, was, it, was, it, it had to be a mess. But I just had to come on here today on this warning Friday to let you know that it's time for us to get some joy back in our lives, especially as being black people. Come on, read it for yourself. Search it out. We, they was multiplying. Pharaoh was getting nervous. I was talking to a couple black guys uh, about a year or so ago, and he had just did two or three years, he said, in, 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 uh, in Michigan, uh, the Michigan jail. <clears throat> and he told me, you know, after he got out, him and his boys was just walking, kicking around. They was walking through an alley. And in that alley, they came across a bag about yay big, full of guns. Somebody had dropped them guns right in the alley in the black neighborhood. Do you guys know that the Ku Klux Klan don't come in no hoods no more? They come in a shirt and tie just like this. They can shake your hand, look you in the face. We are for you. Come on. You, we got we to gotta keep, keep it real and we got to tell the truth so the truth can do what? Set us free on this morning Friday. Don't go out to the night, sisters, and lay with no dude, and don't protect yourself because Mark said January, February, we're going to have a lot of January, February babies. Come on. Come on. And you laying with them guys that don't care nothing about it, and you popping that gun, got your hair done, your eyelashes on, and, and getting full of babies, that is not what you need to do. Come on. Let them raggly men go. Get your life set. If you messing with a raggly sister, let her go. If you're women and going with two women and you raggly, let that go. And everybody in 2023, get the relationship with Jesus Christ, God himself, and let them raggly people go on this warning Friday. Well, I want to just give you a little hot word, a little rough word this morning, but we got to take it back. We're not doing nothing in the building. We're not doing nothing in the community. We're not doing anything. Everybody's doing stuff to be seen. Come on. And I don't agree with that at all. Uh-uh. That's why I don't deal with that. Black Lives Matter, I ain't saying that I don't like what they do uh, in some states. But if you just coming out with a black guy get killed by a white po police, that's prejudice. And prejudice don't cure anything. It just hurt it. Well, I love your eyes. You guys be blessed. And have a good day.